I 100% owe you an apology. I know that I was rude, and I know that I said a lot of things that were inappropriate. I've never in my life been so adamant about wanting to apologize to Christy. <laughs> like, this is the first for me. All of our fights in the past, I always felt like I wasn't wrong. <laughs> And this time I feel like I truly know that I was in the wrong. And so I just hope that what I receive back from her is something genuine and real and not something that I just want to hear so she can get rid of me. The heat of the moment, things just got like angry all of a sudden and I wasn't trying to go there, but then just hearing my daughter's name and then I just flipped. She wasn't part of this conversation. It wasn't like about like her like right now. Listen, when teenagers start talking to you, you're gonna be like, oh my god. And so that's what I meant. I'm like hypersensitive about my children right now. I'm very hypersensitive about Autumn right now. Um, she's going through a lot of health issues because she really wants to do things that normal 19 year olds and a lot of times she can't. It's just it's horrible. The last thing that I want to do is get into conversation about our children again. This conversation should be about how we improve as friends. I feel like we have a past that sometimes is hard for me to let go. And like, I thought I let go of everything. Like there was a time where I was like, okay, everything is gone, but it just takes like one tweak. And so it's like, I know where to like hit where it hurts. And I don't want to be like that anymore. Like that person, like that person is negative. That person is making me feel disgusting inside for your sake and for my sake. Like, I don't want to be that person. I don't want you to feel like that person. I'm not trying to like make excuses. I'm just trying to be honest. Tara, I hate living in my past. I mean, I, I'm not the perfect person. I wasn't the perfect mom, but I am over nine years sober and I think I've overcome it, it's in my past. I don't bring it up unless I have to. <laughs> I shouldn't have talked to you like that. <sighs> Christy, I'm sorry. Thank you. And I don't want to like go down this negative road with you again. I want to be like in a strong place with you instead of letting this like suppressed anger continue on for like years like it has before. I really hope we can move forward. I want you to be in Mexico. I feel like like this is about becoming our new selves. And if you and I can be in this state of mind, then I know it'd be great motivation for everybody. So will you come to Mexico? Yeah, I'll go to Mexico. I'll bring on them too. That sounds great. With everything going on with Penny, I'm not even sure I can go to Mexico yet, but I hope Christy understands what a huge step this is for me to invite her on this retreat. I hope that this can be a fresh start. Yeah, this will be good. No drama. We'll actually like each other this time. All right, good deal. Even though I accept her apology, I still have my guard up. She's done this so many times to me. And until she can actually show me that I could trust her again, that guard's gonna be up. Thank you. I'll see you in Mexico.